Right, I want to do a quick unboxing video. Birthday unboxing. Marie got me these. Uh, so I've got a, a Roland stand for the SPD SX. No, that's not what I've got. SPD S is what I've got. So um, I'll open that now. I'll have a quick look. Okay, there's the instructions. Really, it looks like a Yamaha stand. So, put the box on the floor. Here it is. Okay, and now the keyboard. Wow. Okay, so I'll go plug it in and we'll have a look. Here's the keyboard. Is it changing color? It's so subtle, you can hardly even see it. It's not changing color. It is changing color. Look at this, the blackberries are from the back garden. I picked a load this morning. Got them in a bowl over here. Look at that. Fabulous. I need to cut them back a bit, they're looking a bit wild, but uh, I couldn't reach the ones at the back. But while we're here, look at the chilies. We've got a load of um, we got a load of red ones now. It looks like they can. It looks like they're really small chilies, because I guess when they're red, they're ready. Okay, I'll zoom in. Close up on some chilies. Yeah, we've come up to Kimveredge, and as soon as I turn the camera on, the wind starts roaring because I forgot to bring a mic. So I'll try and hold the camera still for a minute. I'll I'll stand with the wind to my back, I think. Yeah, Kinveredge, there were rock, there were rock cut houses. It's amazing. Okay, so look in, so that would be Bewdley, going up that way. Um, I need to focus it. Okay, this would be the Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains, that way. There's trees in the way. Oh, this is the direction towards New York, but also Radnor Forest. And then Brown Clee Hill, the Long Mind. That's the Long Mind over there. That's where we went carding the valley. Dublin, Dublin's that way. And then, what's that? The Sheep Walks. <laughs> um, Bobbington. Ah. Wolverhampton, Baggeridge, Sedgley, Beacon. And then this way is to Dudley Castle. Wait, there's a Dudley Castle? Yeah, there is, isn't there? We've got OS 
8, DCNA 82291. OSBM 82291. And it looks like it's a trig point, which I need to look into. I know there's one near Wellington because Sandy did a video about it. And, uh, yeah, trig point. So I guess they must point towards something. Oh no, flying ants. <laughs> Not more flying ants. Right. That's that way. Marie just ran behind me. This is amazing. We feel quite lost at the moment. We don't know how far it is back to where we started, but look at this. Look at this. We're in some kind of caves and people have graffitied. Like, um, it looks like it's, what is it, sandstone or something? Okay, check this out. I was just reading this. Kinva Edge is a remnant of the Mercian forest. There are two Iron Age hill forts on Kinva Edge. Ah, oh, I completely missed those. Here we go, rock houses. Kinva Edge is home to the last troglodyte dwellings occupied in England. The one that we were looking at was Nanny's Rock, a large cavern with five compartments, which was apparently never converted into a house. For many years, it was known as Mego Foxhole. The parish register records the death on the 8th of June 1617 of one Margaret of the Fox Earth who may have lived there. So people have just been able to carve their initials in it. That is amazing. So I'll just walk through. Wow. My stomach's rumbling. Let's just go and walk to one of these and have a look out. Isn't that incredible? How do you, what, what's that, a torch, you say? Yeah, well, it's obviously Huh? Oh my god, I can't, I don't think I can go that far forward. Yeah, you're right. Wow. <gasps> that felt a bit wobbly. Check this out. It's, um, it's called a picadillo. And Marie, it's called a picadillo? Yeah. Marie cooked this today. I think it comes out of Thomasia. Tom. <laughs> it's out of Thomas. I'm sure it's out of Thomasina Meyer's recipe book, which is like um, Mexican food. And uh, this has got beef and pork and olives. And what's the word for currants? What's the other word for currants? Raisins. Raisins, pork, beef, and the olives. Are stuffed with anchovies because we, we got those ones. We discovered those in Menorca a few years ago and they're absolutely fantastic. Just the best snack in the world as well. Olives stuffed with anchovies. But yeah, this is so, so good. You normally have it with, um, what's that bread called? You normally have it with tortillas, but um, we can have it with rice today. Yes. And finally, to end this vlog, here's the keyboard. Is it changing colour? It's so subtle. 
you can hardly even see it it's not changing colour it is changing colour it's changing colour